And we're back with more Metroid Prime 2. Uh, now that I have the mint air freshener, it's time to go kill things. Well, actually, we have the dark beam, but mm. there's something else that has to go along with it. A dark cream to go with that dark beam? Good guess. Keep on guessing, though, and I'll just take you to where we need to go. Uh, a dark ream of paper. We're gonna draw on black paper. Uh, not quite. Okay, uh, how about some more ammo for the thing? Because it looks like we barely have any. Well, it is true. We are kind of lacking on that, but, uh... Well, we're gonna be taking another trek into Dark Aegon. Fantastic. But first, the log note. A very recent one. Space pirate Oh, the Federation attack. Oh, no! Another disaster. The transport bringing our reinforcements. <laughs> Uh-oh. Bringing our reinforcements. Supplies has been shot down. It was engaged in orbit by a Federation vessel, which has <laughs> landed near the alien temple. <laughs> the Federation's it's only a matter here? of time before the Marines attack. Survivors from our ship have made their way oh, to our base. No. Here we shall make our final our sta stand. Yeah, our Another stand. enemy. First the Shadowlings, then the Dark Hunter, and now the Galactic <laughs> Federation Marine Corps. Perhaps fate will smile upon us before the world itself opens its maw and swallows us. Oh my God. The, the pirates have personality here. So they, yeah, they've been doing this Phazon mining thing for a, wow. you know, a few cycles, a good while, making these Metroids, making this Phazon, mining it and stuff like that. But they've been, they've been doing it on the fringe of the of uh, Federation territory. Yeah. And they just got to make sure that they don't be seen. They got seen! Yeah, they got seen immediately. And, and the person huh. who, the people who saw them was Bravo Team. <laughs> the people that we've, that we've been, so all of this is connected. It's great. That's some good lore. That's great lore. Good job, guys. But since Bravo Team wasn't able to get their beacon out, the pirates don't know that the Federation doesn't know about this, right? Well, they, they don't know that now, but... Well, I mean, yeah. But we can't send anything out. Like, Bravo Team couldn't send their... Uh, their SOS. Or am I thinking incorrectly? Oh, the Metroids are released. Nice. Oh, yeah, and the Metroids are released. I mean, we, we all figure that much. Oh, yeah. They really have an ice beam to speak of at the moment, so um, mainly just dark energy is the best way to take them out, but missiles always work. And of course, there's always the roll into a morph ball when you grab you and bomb them, but... Oh, they can die. Okay, I thought we specifically oh. had to get the ice beam. No, no, no. The ice beam is just an easy way to kill them. Um, has that always been the case and I've just been reading it wrong? It's been that way since the first. God damn it. You, okay. You, you freeze them with the ice beam and you shoot uh. them with five missiles. That's how you kill the Metroids. That's the only way you kill the Metroids. Yeah. That's how it used to be. But now you realize I have soft, squishy membranes, and, well, any concuss- Any concussive blast will take them out now. Okay, that makes a lot more sense, actually. I thought I was just being silly. Then we can head through here and Hello. get this little thing! Hey, it's a missile expansion! By the way, what's the max on our dark energy? Because I noticed that's a long, uh, counter over there. Well, we'll have to find out. Right now it's at 50, and that's where it's staying. What? You need upgrades? Oh, I do see- Individual pieces. Oh, crap. Yep. So we're gonna find dark tanks now, too? Well, right now we're focusing on something that we desperately need. We need health. True. This is the GameCube version, which means that there's gonna be a boss here that's gonna give us a, an, abs an absolute nightmare of a time. So we need to make sure we get as many E-tanks as we can- as we can get. We might have to go out of the way to get some of them, but they're all gonna make- they're all gonna be worth it. Especially, we're about to jump into Dark Aegon. Because the thing about Dark Aegon is that there are two places to get into uh, in this in this map. But they're both separated by super missile doors we can't get through. Hmm. So inside this pirate base is the second portal. I mean, we just saw it back there. We're gonna hop in there in a sec, but we need to get an E-Tank first. I'm down. Because another mission that we're doing here is getting the Temple Keys. Right, right. Is there one around here? Uh, th th all the temple keys are in Dark Aegon. How'd they lose their keys in Dark Aegon? Well, uh, I think they were stolen and kind of stored there. Oh. Because enemies could be holding it, it could be in certain places, but... Yeah. Our goal is to get the three temple key... Uh, the, the three temple keys to the Aegon Wastes. But first, we gotta get this E-Tank. Very important E-Tank. It's always important to get every E-Tank that you can get. I thought you were about to say, this E-Tank actually gives you 20 extra health, ooh! It gives you 100. That's, five, that's, that's extra five health. times as good! Oh my god, this E-Tank is just the best in the universe! All we gotta do is just pop into the uh, Aegon Temple here in the Light World and go through this dark door. 
Now we gotta do the most favorite of expert <laughs> of expert Metroid moves. Here we go. Double bomb jumps. Oh Jesus, really? This one's easy to do though. Like it has to be done this way. It has to be done this way. Okay. Gotta get up there. Oh, easy. So the idea is you, yeah. you you drop one and then two quickly. Oh yeah. So when you go back down, the one on the bottom explodes and it pushes you up to the one on top, and it just it just works out. There's definitely a rhythm to it, which over I'm here. happy about. Yes, there, yes there is. Like I said, it's easier doing this one than say Metroid Prime One. Like the morph ball has been just you know changes a little bit. Oh now, wow! For this one you got to get a little creative. You got to jump up here. I would do the double jumps to give me a little bit of extra oh, boost. Oh wow! You come up there and there you go. Didn't even consider that. Nice job. Again, it's a little out of the way. Uh, there's, this takes you down here in a door we can't get through. It's a purple door. What's purple? I'm not quite sure. Let's find out. Wait, I thought we had purple. We don't have purple. We have dark. We have dark, not purple. Oh. Well, what's the difference? One's dark, one's purple. <laughs> but it, we can... It's dark purple. It makes sense. I mean, look at that purple. That's, that's essentially a black door. Well, it's, it shows purple, though! The entire thing is purple! What do you mean? We can open purple doors, come on! Well, now we're heading into Dark Aegon. Alright, bring it. I'm ready for it. Oh, you? Well, I've got you by my side. I mean, I know I'm not playing, but... It's fine. I'll figure it out. Yeah, it'll be good. It's It's fine. That's what I actually should be doing, is playing this alongside you. You don't even have the game. Well, you got the trilogy. Yeah, I've got the trilogy. So there might be some differences. <laughs> I can... I up. can help. Ah! Is it just me, or does there seem to be more Phazon growing out of that temple? I don't like that. It's it's It seems a bit more Phazon-y than I remembered from earlier. Not a fan of all that Phazon. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not a fan... Oh. I'm, I'm, I'm even less a fan of uh, not making my jumps. Is that going to be a running theme, just like it was in Metroid Prime One? Well, let's let's let's, let's hope not. <laughs> and, yeah, I'm, I'm 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 trying to be as skillful and as quickly as as quick as I can. I think I've been doing pretty okay so far. Cut to the end credits. We did it. Yeah. Good job, everybody. Man, I'm good. Wow. We've done it. I mean, when when Dark Samus blew up, that was it. That was the final boss. There she goes. All right. So, just through this door and into the temple and into Dark Aegon. This should be good. Can't wait to see how they change it up. Remember, this is the this is the one that the pirates use. This is the, this is their personal portal into Dark World. Which means there's going to be dark pirates waiting for us on the other side. Well, let's hope not. Oh, I hope so. Hello, everyone. Oh, see what that is up there. Big glowing red thing? I like the big glowing red thing. That's one of the temple keys. Oh. And this is a dark preed. <laughs> you shoot it, it explodes with poisonous gas. <laughs> Who came up with these names? I don't know. <laughs> that guy's like, ooh, hella dead. Ooh. Yeah. He stayed out there too long. We have open pools of phase on. Ew. Lo lovely to see. Thanks, I hate it. Yeah, it's it's oh it's 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 the it's the bee's knees. Tell you what. Mm, ready? Oh, I so you can shoot these with dark beam, and then it becomes a nullified beacon. Why would you want to nullify a beacon, though? Well, maybe you might not want to, but the enemies sure can. <gasps> oh, that's actually cool. And that's forty percent of all the logbook scans. Oh my yeah! god! Really? What five get, get five the, episodes in? Get the promo gallery. Nice. Yeah. There's still more stuff to scan. So we work our way down here. Ow. Ouchie, ouchie, Ow. ouchie, Ow. ouchie. Avoid Ow. the open phase on. Hey, we're here. And over here is something else we can scan. This guy right here. Hello, guy. It's a nullified crystal. Perfect. Where you shoot the uh, you know, crystal with a dark beam, basically. Cover with dark energy, cease. Power of the dark energy. They will, they will come back later, but I, I feel like that one's like permanent. Just to show, hey, that's this a, could happen. That's a thing that you can shoot? I didn't even notice. Let me come over here. Hey, nice. Let's try and scan this yeah, guy Yeah, what here. did you even open? That is a light lift crystal. Ah, an elevator. It's energized by dark-based weapons, so if we shoot that thing with some dark energy... 
You won't believe what happens when we get to the right angle and shoot it. <laughs> when I actually there. shoot it. Hey, there we go. What happens if you run out of ammo in the dark world? Do they throw you a bone? The, the bone they give you is that if you charge your beam, you can shoot oh, out right, a regular... Right, right, yeah, right. That's, okay, that, okay, that's okay, the one mind. boon they give you. There's the first, third, Dark Temple Key! Nice fanfare. That means that this is important. You gotta find two more now. Alright, bring it on! And the second one is in this area of, of Dark Aegon. Ow. And the other Ow. one, we have to go Ow. to that other portal Ow. to get the third one. Ow. Well, we can do a little bit of exploring here in the meantime! As you're constantly taking damage. Ow. It, it, Ow. it is quite painful, yes. I just Open like, phase on. Oh, gross. I just love to think that every time Samus walks out into it, in her mind, she's just going, ow, 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 ow. ow, ow. ow. I think ow, I should bring ow, the Federation ow. here. They should really explore this place. <laughs> they tried, and they're It'd be dead. Great. Oh, just invite everybody. Every single Federation guy, especially all the jocks that you hate, invite them here. It'd be great. I bet Adam Malkovich will really like it here. Ooh. Oh, he's got... There's a light portal. That's our way back. Ow. Because the thing about this portal, we can't go back. Oh, we are it's, stuck a one, here. it's a one way. Yeah, we are stuck here in the dark world until we find a way back. That other portal we went through, that was a specially made Aether uh, Luminoth portal. Oh. So that can go both ways. This, this one can't. Does that happen every time? Not every time. Okay. Not every portal is a one way, but most of them are. Hmm. This was a dark lift crystal after we've shot it. You change them entirely when you shoot them with the dark beam. Yes. Gotcha. Yes. Well, since there is the presence of a dark beam, that means there must be a light beam, am I right? Well, you might be something something. No, 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 no. I love being a something something. Hey, a safe station. Lovely safe station. They call this safe station three. Oh, God. I don't know if there's a Stave Station 2. It's not in the GameCube version or whatever. I don't know, but... Oh, is that a thing? Oh, oh right, right, right. From last time. Just, ow. The one. ow. Ow. Ouchie, ouchie, ow. ouchie, 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 burning. Ooh. Oh. Hello. So we have open phase on there. There's a thing back there we can't really get. That is so can awful. Is we can... Yeah, good luck. Yup! Nice. Yeah. Ow. Ow. <laughs> oh, God! All that phase on to the right! Don't like it. Gah! Well, cool elevator. Can activate this. We're basically uh Look at all the phase on. Yeah. Oh no. Oh no. That's We're, awful. Th yeah, this is in the light world. This is where they hold all the metroids. Oh. So it would stand to reason that they have entire pools Ow. of phase on open here. Good stuff. Good stuff. Ow. 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 There are three things we need to scan in order to unlock that security door down there. Here's the first one. Master Hacker Samus Aaron. <laughs> Hacking is easy. I gotta do is just highlight it and just hold for a little bit. <laughs> I'm just thinking she like throws her hands against a laptop uh, keyboard. <laughs> I'm in. Oh. oh no 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 no! Ah! Oh man! Phase on. Yeah, if you miss those jumps, you get to swim in phase on. <laughs> It has lovely moisturizer quality. Ah! Fucking space cancer! Except it burns like hell. Uh, Alright. Here we go. For real. Focus up. You got the space jump. You know how to play this. You got through hunters. <laughs> you can do this. Well, obviously you just wanted to show what space cancer actually does to people. Well, it, I, it burns I, like I, hell. I already showed that off in the first game, though. We don't need to show it off again. Now, well, some people may have forgotten. It's episode five. By Prime 3, we really, we really will get space cancer, so. <laughs> Third lock is over here to the right. Oh, God. I, now I'm just imagining Dark Samus is Samus' space cancer. <laughs> and she's actually going to kill the manifestation of her space cancer. There's a third one. Oh, just imagine if that was the actual plot. May have had one of the best Navigator videos ever made. <laughs> oh, I do not want NavGTR. <laughs> I, do, I do not want uh, the gaming in the Clinton years to touch this. Nope! Don't want that! Ah. Ow, burning, ouch. Yeah, you... It's so burning, it hurts! 
So we got an enemy here called Ing Claw. These big things on the wall right here. There's really no way to kill them. All they do is just spew out darkness and hate and toxins. Sounds like the internet. Ow. Stop. So watch watch my health when I come by these guys. Whoa! Don't like that! No, 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 no. No, no, not a fan, not a fan at all. So that's what Ink Claws do. They they seep a whole bunch of health from you. <laughs> they make the they make the already toxic deadly atmosphere twice as toxic and deadly. Ugh. Bad stuff. Bad stuff all around. Just walk by them. <laughs> oh god, no. The deadliness. Ooh, dark bats. I don't think I'd like to deal with these guys. Yeah, well, they're not too tough. It's just kind of in your way, you know, spiraling around. We'll need to get up there, though, so it's good to take care of them now, so they're not bothering you later. They also make an annoying noise, so... Do things in the dark world stay dead? Well, they die like any other animal. Okay. After a few rooms, they'll probably come back. Is that actually working? It's it's a little bit effective. I think if I was closer, it'd be more effective, but it does work. Nice. I mean, you're aiming for one before they turn, and they all kind of go in that direction, so... <laughs> hey, Fred, do you think we should go to the other pathway? I mean, we see a lot of our own people dying. It's Why are we going in the circle Why are anyway? you questioning the way of the, of the wind there, Frank? Frank, J yeah, okay. Don't you know you should just go with the flow? Don't ask questions that may get you thrown in jail? Come on, Fred. From this angle, you can shoot the two lift crystals here, kind of hiding. There you go. Oh, nice, nice. It should help you get up to this one over here. Get rid of that guy. All right. Here we go. Hoop! Poo! Okay, maybe it was just not knowing the locations of all the energy tanks, because... Oh, that's pretty. Let's grab that first before I continue this uh, logic. He's been dead for 1.2 decacycles. Phase on radiation poisoning, extreme of dark ether's atmosphere, all gear and weapons have been removed from the target. Hmm. Right. Except for this. The light beam? Whoa! The light beam! Jesus, Niskel Damas strikes again. Well, I mean, it's it's pattern it, recognition. It's gonna happen, we gotta, yeah. we, we get, we're in the dark world, in the light world. We get a dark beam, we yeah, get a light beam. They both a light door. They both kind of share the same uh, same area. They they don't share ammo, though. Oh, that's good. Yeah, I was worried about but that. Now we can do other things with this. Defeat enemies with the dark beam, earn light ammo. And defeat them with a... Okay, so that's how you get ammo. So we can shoot these crystals with the light beam, and it makes them even stronger. Oh. This is an energized crystal. Energizer? Still going. So if I shoot it with a dark beam, it, get, it gets rid of it for a few seconds. If I shoot it with the light beam, it gets stronger for a few seconds. Hmm. That's neat. That's just neat is what that is. You're right. <laughs> so, uh... Anyway, the thing I was bringing up, I watched a Let's Play of all three Metroid Prime games a million years ago to, to the point where I don't remember anything from them. But one thing I do recall... You can energize the beacons too. Oh, perfect. Yeah. Is um, how hard the Let's Player talked that the second game was and dying all over the place. But then again, he also didn't come in with this many E-Tanks. I do remember that specifically. So I guess it's just knowing where everything is to where... The difficulty isn't too bad. Yeah, there's going to be a boss here that you'll be fighting him basically in the dark world without any beacons of any type. Okay, maybe that's where it comes from. So you'll be constantly... Th and that, that, that's the boss where the devs say, I we couldn't we couldn't beat him. Oh, because of bullshit. Because of bullshit and maybe a little bit of difficulty creep from the time constraints because it's been patched and uh, nerfed in subsequent releases. That's good. I don't think it does anywhere near as much damage. I think you get a little bit of a of a boon in terms of health. So one thing you can do if you don't want to if you don't want to complicate things with your ammo, it's like say I need dark ammo, I can shoot those uh, those containers with light ammo, and it'll most likely give me dark ammo. Not all the time, but a good chance. That's good. That way you don't have to worry about. All right, gotta shoot this thing with that. You just you can just blow up craters or containers. With, uh, with your beam, it'll be fine. Oh, great. So I gotta go down here. Ow, ow, ow. Slightly ow, yes, slightly ow. 
going into that big open place that had the turrets. Oh, that was a cool reflection. Yeah. Oh, that was cool. This game is great. All right. Uh, ooh. There's our ah, there's our second uh, key. Mm. Or, right. Technically, this is the third key, but no, no. no. Yeah, well, do yeah. you think it's gonna be that easy? Nope. This was a trap. Did the pirates actually land one? The pirates. That's funny. Did the ing finally land one? Well, they think they did. Now a whole bunch of the of their warriors are gonna come and tr and uh, tell me that they don't like me being around here. You come to the wrong side of town. I can scan that and shoot the little web their little web trap there that they got. This basically means you're not getting out until you kill everything. Cool, kill everything. Well, let's do that. Show me how it goes. They can't get in here. They can't get in here, but they can try. They can roll in there and do and do damage, and that does damage to themselves as well. But I mean, that's hilarious. Ow. Yeah, armor systems online. Symbiotic possession attempt failed. So they are trying to take control of me. Oh shit! But because my Chozo suit is so powerful and so good, it blocks them. It's not working. They have Ow. to. They have to kill me if they want to take control of me. That's such a. That's so neat. Samus Aran is such a fucking badass. That's so cool. I love. I love this game. So do the Chozo have to think about this? Like, consider, is like, oh, what if somebody tries to take over? I don't think they think about it. They're just, on, they're just automatically cool like that. On a completely different level. Ow. We can take Ow. some of this, get some Ow. light ammo. Back. Ow. All right, Ow. all right, all right, all right. It looks Ooh. like you can also shoot their sludge forms, which is pretty nice. It's a little bit tougher Ow. to figure out their hitbox, though, and they move a lot. You're doing a pretty good job. Not bad, not bad. There's, there's, there's a lot of them, though, so it feels, uh, it feels tougher than it is. These guys actually remind... Okay. Go with me on this. Do, okay. you, do you remember the 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 Twilight monsters from whenever you open up a new portal and you had to like kill them all at the same time? In Twilight Princess? Yeah. Or... Yeah. Don't these guys look very similar to those guys? Sort of. These guys these guys look a bit more sludgy than like you know glitchy. You that, know? That's true. That's true. Like like these guys came from pri like primordial Twilight ooze instead of from a technologically superior Twilight. Yeah, you know, civilization or whatever. Ow. Yeah, these guys are sponges, if I've ever seen them. Yeah, they're, they're a little spongy. I mean, you got your light beam to help out, but they can only help out so much, I see. Do they get healed by being hit with a dark beam? I don't think so, but I just don't think they work. I don't know if, they, I don't know if they're that cruel about it or not. That makes sense. But, there you go. Yeah, we're sorry. Get some of the ammo back here. It's, there we go. It, it, missiles. Good enough. Alright. Our second key. Progress. It's happening. We's getting there. So next time, we're gonna be getting our third key and uh, completing this level. But for now, we got a couple of extra things to pick up now that we've got the light beam. And then we'll call it a day. I love it. I was able to call light beam Dark beam. Darkling tentacle. I mean, it's light and dark. I mean, it's not... You know, I know. It's not like, it, you, it's not like you solved the Millennium Puzzle. It's it not is, like... Hey, I did solve the Millennium Puzzle. Holy shit! Did you use a guide? No. Oh. I solved the Millennium Puzzle. Well, then, you're the king of games. I have the spirit of a pharaoh. Well, allow, me to be, allow me to be your vizier. Never mind the knife I have in my hand. <laughs> How'd you know the, the plot of Dark Yu-Gi-Oh? Season Zero. Well, if they make my villain academia, I don't know what that's about. <laughs> out, of all the, out of all the crap shown in anime, that's the one I've been looking at the most. Like, maybe I would like that. My Hero? Yeah. Oh, it's great. B-N-H-A, I'm gonna call it. <sighs> Whatever. Whatever you call it, it's a great show. Give it a try. Give it one season, because that's the shortest one. Uh, I See mean, if you like it. I could give it a try, because Demon Slayer... I, I I can't. You you don't have to. Every time I look at the art style, it's just it's just ugh, I hate it. I hate the character design. My hero is one of those shows where I was like, I'll give it a try, and then I watch the entirety of the first season going, Okay, I need more. I haven't had a show grip me like that in a long time. I'll i I'll give it a shot. It's it's got Ooh, Ooh Harry, here we go. Alright, this is what we call uh oh no wait, never mind. This is anything, it's just a recharge station. <laughs> The mythical recharge station only found in Dark World. 
Well, that's probably how they've been winning so much. So this this applies not only your missiles, but your light and dark oh, thank ammo. Thank God, I was worried about that. Your ship does this too. Oh, light and dark too? Yeah. Oh, cool. Your ship gets you back all your ammo. Oh, nice. So there are some boons you just have to be kind of kind of stingy about it, but seeing as we're getting all the collectibles when we get uh, ammo expansions for the beams, which we can get, um, that'll make things a little bit easier. Just a little bit easier. See, the, the difficulty in Metroid Prime 2, I have a feeling will become trivial after we get so many different collectibles. I think the difficulty comes from not knowing where anything is. In, if if I was yeah. to make a guess. Yeah. You did get pretty fucked up in the dark world, though. That's a good thing. We, you see, it's a good thing we got that, uh, that last E-tank. Yeah. So now we get to go back to that room with the turrets and... Uh, get shot a bunch. We're going to talk about uh, some great moments in Metroid history. Oh. This is a pretty good one. So, here we are. Uh -huh. There's a thing behind that force field over there. I see it. There's a generator we gotta destroy, but ooh, what's this? What is it? No! Oh, sweet! People used to hate turret sections, but sometimes... Sometimes they're okay. Sometimes... It's, it's, yeah. it's just nice. It's okay. Destroying the wind turbines, that's hilarious. I wonder why there's a health bar, though. Ooh, phase so. two. The idea is we gotta destroy that thing we saw there. Can't destroy that, but it does destroy that thing on the side <laughs> yeah, there. destroy the thing on the side. That's the big thing, because there's the third one. And there you go. And now the pirates are kind of like, what's going on here? Ah, uh, limited time in the turret. Ah, uh, but this is so great. They oh, just such catharsis. They just can't win. Every single time they try something, it's just like, no, 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 trust me, this will totally work. Why isn't it working? There's another one over there in case you need it. Oh my god, two turrets? Did we jump? Yeah. Thank you very much. There's two, tur two, two turrets. Shoot a couple of things, shoot some enemies. Didn't that feel good? I that felt really good. Here's a log. I, I thought you were about to say two torrents. Hey, look, we just torrented this log here. This is the last space pirate log. Two hunters. <laughs> we just landed. Another another hunter wearing those traditional colors of Samus Aran. Oh, she's here. Made Planetfall today. Horrific as it may sound, there are two of them now. We are bracing for a new assault. <laughs> this dire turn of events may bear some goodwill. Oh, no. One of our scouts in Dark Aether saw a curious encounter. The Dark Hunter attacked the one clad as Samus near a phase on site. Perhaps they are not allies, but foes. Perhaps we can forge an alliance with the Dark Hunter. An exchange! Phase on for the head of our common enemy. Uh-oh. Ah! Oh. So that, that either might not work or will work. Either way, that's not... Dark that, Samus that, doesn't seem like the uh, agreeable type. But she might be the temporary uh, alliance type deal. This is a beam ammo expansion! Max Dark... Ooh, both of them! So that ups both of them oh, by that's, 100. That's by, awesome. By, by, by 50. And we got another guy here. This is Jay Still. J still. My journey comes to an end. The thrice cursed Ing prepared an ambush of singular cunning in the mining station. It caught me in it like a neophyte fresh from the training halls. I've sent five score of their number to whatever foul pit they call an afterlife, but in vain. My life is extinguished. Aww. But don't worry, I will carry the flag. It's alright, man, I got you. Oh, well, I'll figure this out. Alright. Let's do a little loop now. That is actually a fantastic idea to have the beam upgrades upgrade both. That would be agonizing to have to upgrade each one individually. And the only way you get you can get the first one is if you have both beams. Because you would need the light beam to get up to that higher area in order to reach it. Or the spider ball, which you won't get until way later in the game. Spider it's balls all, in the game? It's all connected! It's all connected! <laughs> You're putting a bunch of Metroid Prime 2 pictures up on a cork board. It's just like, it's all connected! Check it out here! Alright! It's all here! So the income, right? <laughs> so the, at, the other, at the other end of that hall was uh, the E-Tank that we got, but on the other end here is a light door that'll take us to oh! this thing! Shoot me! Whoa! It's good! But what was it good for? There's something over there we can't get to yet, not without something special we get towards the end game. Hmm. It takes us to another double bomb jump. 
Next to space cancer. Next to more space cancer. Don't go in there, that leads to another room that, uh, that's... Well, we got no reason to get down there yet. Yeah, we don't need to go in there yet. But up here we need to get to. Oh, yep. Close, close. Oh, hang on. Gotta hang it over, let me try over here. Oh, almost! So close! Eh. There we go. Yeah! Yeah. Even better. Ooh, a missile tank. Missile upgrade. Excellent. Is there anything else back here? It's number 12. Nope, that's all. Worth it, I think. If we keep following it down here. So take us back to this white door. And this is where we fought Dark Samus for the first time. Holy shit, it did loop. With an added testament from D still. <laughs> B still, sorry. Yo, name's B still. I can go no further. Here in this reactor, I go to join my fallen mate, J. Still, in final rest. Mm. Though I die with honor, I will yeah, ram my house until the key I seek reaches its destination. May my brothers find my burden that the way to the Sky Temple will be opened at last. Sky Temple, huh? The Sky Temple is basically uh, the Chozo artifacts of this game. Gotcha. When we uh, get, when we uh, take care of all three of them, then we then the game says, "Okay, now go find twelve Sky Temple keys, which are hidden all around the." all around the map. But, that is all that we will be doing for today. Oh my god, you did make a loop! That's cool! Yes! Look at you route in the area! N next time on Metroid Prime 2, we're gonna be heading back to the Dark World, getting the final key, and taking care of this area once and for all. Does that include a boss? Well, it might. I mean, do you, do you, th do you, think, they're, do you think that we're gonna take a third of their energy and they're not gonna do anything about it? Well, I mean, when you put it that way. I mean, if the Ingers are stupid, which I don't think they are. <laughs> actually, they caught you in a trap, so they're actually very smart, so... Never mind, we're gonna have to take it by force. Well, well fortunately, I got all the force that they can handle. Crack. And more! Cracks knuckles. Crack, yeah. Cracks muscles, you know, sc you know scrape on my, on my hand. Oh, oh, sorry about nails that. Nails on chalkboard. You better show off what we do with the light beam here, you know, just kind of, you know, yeah, shoot a whole bunch. Cool it it's nice, it's nice and rainbowy. It's pretty. It's like I'm shooting raves at people. Yeah. Well, all right. Yeah, you just, you just switch between them like that, and you'd be an unstoppable force of madness. See you, space cowboy. See you, space cowboy, and see you, bounty hunter, and see you next time. Oh.